This is DJB. Welcome to Photocritic TV. All we do on this show, literally, is critique photographs. Day in, day out. Your photographs is totally free. We're up to episode 35. Five. 35. Um, I'm a photographer in Melbourne, Australia. You can have a look at my portfolio at www.digibewellphotography.com if you want to. Um, otherwise, let's get straight into it. We always do this, dedicate this episode. Who are we dating? Aaron's a guy behind the camera. He's going to dedicate this episode to somebody very, very lucky. Very special. Who is it? Uh, Lynn Wilson. Lynn! Well done. I hope that I hope, I hope you've made Lynn's week. LW. That's, that's weird. We've got that sort the of The big report. LW. Okay. Yep. Excellent. Nice. Nice. Lynn, if you're watching, Aaron wants you. Alright. Let's get straight into it. We've got two people today who have submitted some photographs. Um, oh, actually, I suppose I should tell you how you submit your photographs. Go to the website photocritictv.com and there's a click to submit button there. Click on that. It's totally free. We'll critique them online on camera. Don't worry, we're not going to make you feel bad, okay? We're here to give you some constructive feedback and hopefully um, something you can take on board and apply next time you have to feel taking some photographs. So, first up, we've got Alicia Tuziak. Um, I hope I pronounced that correctly, Alicia. And she's from Melbourne. And Alicia's shooting with a, a Pentax K100D with a Sigma 18 to 50 mil lens. I was just going to. Do you know what that camera is? No. We don't do Pentax here. Sorry, Lisa. No, no, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I, I assume that's a uh, that's the Pentax a P Pentax digital SLR because we're using a Sigma lens on it. I don't know how new or old it is, but um, that's okay. No worries. It's not the gear that's important anyway. Do, do your homework. I should have done my homework on that one. I'll do it. I'll find out. I'll tell you next time what that camera's about. Um, so, Leisha's just written here, she's taken the photographs of her dog Charlie in the backyard, wanted to get the photos that were good enough to put up on the wall. Okay, cool. Leash. The... your first one, um, let me just bring that up. Cool photograph. When I'm looking at... the, the first thing I notice is I like the colours, the colours are nice and golden, so you've got... I'm not sure if you're shooting in manual mode or if you've done any post-production work, but it doesn't look like it, um, uh, post-production wise, but... The white balance is good. You got a nice, that nice kind of golden light, um, and it looks as though you know that you haven't shot this in kind of the middle of the day, and you got kind of crappy shadows all over it. Good thing, good stuff. The first thing I notice about this, technically, is that it's a little bit blurry, especially in the middle, like around his nose in the bottom right-hand corner. Um, so that could either be a shutter speed thing, i.e. your shutter speed is not fast enough to kind of capture this dog, if the dog may have been slightly moving, or it could be a focus thing, it could just be that your camera wasn't focused on the right part of the dog and you're using a very low depth of field. So it, it kind of looks like on the left hand side, like he's, he's the dog right here, um, that looks quite sharp, but the other side, the nose does look a little bit blurry. Um, also, just thinking about kind of composition and stuff, I would have maybe wanted to uh, kind of step back a little bit. Um, that what's happening is that bit of kind of negative space or empty space on the left-hand side here, where we can see the boardwalks. Boardwalks. Have a look at this. That's not a boardwalk, is it? <laughs> it's a deck. It's a deck. <laughs> I was just thinking about boardwalks. I like. Taking a walk on the board. Board walk. Yeah. Yeah. Walk. Anyway, getting back to <laughs> getting back to what I'm saying. So that little bit of um, see, I'll show you right here what I'm talking about. Just there. Um, the wood. The wood. Yeah, the decking. So that kind of creates a little bit of imbalance. So what I would have done is actually totally filled the frame with the dog's head and the dog's face, so that we can really kind of see the expression. Because on the right hand side, we don't have anything, any kind of non-dog space. So negative space to balance that out. Okay, so maybe we would have kind of filled the frame with, a little bit with it. You've done well. You place the eyes roughly on the top third line. You could have maybe moved the eyes up a little bit because we like to place the points of interest on the third lines. Rule of thirds. I talk about that one all the time. Apart from that, nice, Leisha. Let's go to the next one. Photograph number two. Um, okay, cool. 
So this one, this one is nice. So pretty much uh, what I was just saying. So step back a little bit and create some more space. Again, the light here is good. Um, this image, again, does look a little bit blurry. Just a very tiny bit blurry. So if you're not shooting in manual mode, get into manual mode. The way you start learning manual mode is by doing it. Just go in there, work it out. Um, and you want to kind of don't when when your camera's in automatic mode. This is the biggest problem with shooting in any of the automatic modes. When I say automatic modes, I mean either P, A, V, T, V. So aperture priority, shutter priority, or automatic, which is P, not not professional mode. What P doesn't stand for professional. I thought A was for awesome. Yeah, it does. It's not. <laughs> That's why I would shoot everything on. Awesome, mate. You'd be mistaken. Well, Aeron mode, as I like to call it. <laughs> it's Aeron mode. <laughs> Um, so when you're in manual mode, you can control the depth of fill with your aperture and you can control the shutter speed with the shutter speed. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. yeah, so you control the shutter speed. So what you want to do is don't let the camera slow down the shutter speed so much that your photograph becomes blurry. So do that. Go to manual mode. Um, so uh, this, this is nicer, I, li I like this more because there's more space around the subject. Now you have a little bit more balance, there's a bit more of the decking on the right hand side and around the top and on the left hand side again. You've placed the dog on the right third, good eyes roughly on the top third slash like middle, that's cool as well. Um, I think I like this one, I definitely like this one more, but that little dog collar, the, the little keychain thing that's an odd collar, an odd colour, I would have just zoomed in a little bit more, crop that out, because that is a distraction. Um, definitely I can see that with the bottom of my eye there, and... You don't like distractions? Don't like, we don't like distractions around here. Focus, we want focus on the subject, so thanks. Leisha, let's go to the next one. Gimme. Photograph... Aaron's getting impatient. What we do here, Alicia, is we do an OTB on Photograph 3. OTB stands for off the bat. We go to Aaron. Aaron's a guy behind the camera. He loves this part of the day because he gets to do an OTB on your photograph. Aaron? Yep. How's things? Yeah. Yeah. Could be better. Um, so the deal is Aaron's basically never seen this photo. Did I just explain this? I didn't, I didn't explain the not seen part today. I oh, know. I wasn't listening. He's not. This guy doesn't... I don't even know why he's here. Just give me the pad. Okay. <laughs> He's got seven seconds to look at it and he's going to give you some feedback. Tag him in. Tag me in. Tag the pad, you got seven seconds. OTB on photograph three with Aaron. Tears of regret. Oof. Tears of regret, in case you didn't hear that. It's deep. Yeah. So, Aaron, you're talking about the expression here on the dog's face. You reckon he's, he's deep in thought and he's thinking about his past. Is that what you're yeah. 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 Okay. Not happy. Not happy at all. That's actually quite a useful comment. <laughs> Something I can work with. If you can get him to smile a bit more, it would have been, yeah. been a better picture. Use paper clips. Paper clips work. What? Paper clips on the mouth. Turn them up, turn up, smile up. That's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. We don't like harming animals. Or we don't endorse harming animals or using paper clips on dogs' mouths to make them smile. Or using paper clips at all. <laughs> Don't use paper clips ever. <laughs> okay, so Leisha, I think Aaron has really touched on the best thing about this photograph. I like these three. I like the fact that you sent in these three photographs. To be honest, because oops, I just who did that? That's a rookie, that's a rookie mistake. Don't yeah. don't turn the pad off. <laughs> If you don't know how to work the pad, don't use the pad. Oh my god. Sorry, so let's turn the pad off. It's, this takes on the load as well. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Leisha, this is what I was talking about with your first photograph, okay? This one, you've filled the frame with the dog's face. Awesome. Okay? So, and the composition's really good. So, you've placed the eyes on the top third line, like, perfectly. And the focus here is on the dog's expression, which is what Aaron was talking about. So... Exactly right. This one, the the photograph is all about the dog's expression and you've captured that well. He does look a little bit sad um, and he does kind of look like he's deep in thought about something. So it's good that we can kind of get that feeling as a viewer who doesn't know your dog. Um, so you've done a great job there. Technically speaking, what I actually think is a little bit bright in parts, i.e. overexposed. So I would have taken this, if you're doing any post-production work, Lightroom, Photoshop, Aperture, whatever, 
go into one of those programs and bring down the exposure, darken the image a little bit so that we can also, when you do that, you're going to, um, the colours are going to be a lot stronger. So they're not going to be kind of washed out like they are here when you, when you reduce the amount of light and reduce yeah, yeah. the exposure the colours will look nicer and you'll get that nice kind of golden um, fur colour like you have in the other two shots. I, I want to see black and white. You want to see that in black and white? Yep. Maybe high contrast, black and white. You reckon? Yep. I don't think so. I like the you're gold. wrong. No. I like the gold. <laughs> okay. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> um, or Alicia. Yeah, actually, you know what? If you want to, if you can be bothered, feel free to convert that to black and white and make a high contrast version of it just to see what Aaron. And I'll dedicate the next episode to you. And you get the next one, there you go. But you've got to get onto his Facebook page, the link. Like me. Like. <laughs> I like you, you like me. It's quick pro quote. <laughs> it's what? Quick pro, pro, pro quote. Quick quote. Yeah, alright, whatever. Also, Alicia, before we go on to the next person, that little green earring, I'm going to call it an earring because it looks like an earring there. Get rid of that little green earring. Dog's hard cool. Look, he's a gangster. This dog is just, yeah, he's a gangster. Alright. Thanks, Alicia. Appreciate your photographs. Feel free to send in some more if you'd like. And the next person up to Rob. I love Rob. <laughs> okay, Rob, we don't know who you are. It's just got Rob. And Rob is from Victoria. And he's shooting with a Canon 450D and the 18 to 55mm lens. Okay. So Rob has written, taken during a mock wedding in St Kilda, process doing using a bit of desaturation and increasing the contrast for that dark look. Okay, cool. So first of all, I'm just going to say this. The, um, those, this is just a general comment about lenses. The 18-55 lens, that's a kit lens. The, this is one of the two lenses that you get. When, sometimes when you go and buy a digital SLR, you get like the kit, the kit lenses. So you'll get the camera body, in this case the 450D, then you get the 18 55 lens and the 55 to 200. Those lenses are crap. So the first thing you should do is... Telling it like it is. Yeah, no, seriously they are. But I mean, it doesn't mean you can't get photographs, but they are, they're, they're not good at all. You're better off just, just get the camera body alone and then get an 18 to 200. Like the, I know with Nikon and Canon both have an 18 to 200 VR or IS with Canon. Um, that lens is so much better than this kind of these two kit lenses that you get, so and so many people have them. Um, or even just get a 50mm f1.8, because that little thing is like $150, and it's one of the sharpest lenses that these manufacturers make. Pocket rocket. Yeah, absolutely, it is. Um, so, that's just a general comment. So, that's cool though, let's go to the photograph, Rob. So, um, I, I like the photograph, Rob. The first thing that I like is the composition. You've done well there, so the... Um, the position of the bride in the frame is good, not dead centre, which a lot of people do. You place her off to the right and you can kind of see her veil um, being held up there, kind of going off the screen. The pose is nice. Um, <clears throat> I think my comments here will mostly be about post-production. So, yep, you're trying to get that kind of dark, desaturated look that some wedding photographers um, go for. I do see this very often. Um, but to me, actually, Rob, I think in this case, it does look a little bit too contrasty on the bride. So if that's your style, great. But if it was me that was doing this, and you can still get this same sort of look, but bring back the highlights a little bit. When I say that, like, don't make the highlights so bright because have a look at her dress, it's so white. There's no detail there at all, there's no detail. It's just like a white stripe. Um, it looks really burnt out. Um, and we want to kind of see those details. We want to see the detail on her dress because, you know, a bride's dress is something that is treasured. So we want to kind of not lose all that detail. Um, also, her face is in a shadow there. We can't see any, pretty much any expression um, and I think what you could have done is in the post-production, if you're using Lightroom, you can use the local adjustment brush and just bring up the exposure on her face on her face, so it's not in so much of a shadow. Um, 
they're the two major things there that I'd think about. Um, but generally speaking, I, I think that's a nice shot. I'd be interested to know what focal length you use there as well. Um, but yeah, not a, not a bad attempt, I think. But have a look at the post-processing, because it definitely is like really, really contrasty. Um, but also like, you know, you've used this kind of skull um, graffiti art in the background there, which is it's just cool, that kind of sets the scene a little bit. Um, and that, I think that kind of goes with your post-processing style. So, yeah, that's about it, Rob. Thank you. Thanks for your submission, and thanks. I was going to say everybody, there's only, a, there's only one other person. Thanks, Alicia. That's it for episode number 35. Wait, wait. What? I, I, want, I want more likes. I'm getting bored with the 25 people I have. <laughs> I want more. <laughs> Guys, um, we are on Facebook, so we've got about a thousand-ish people on there. Um, you do. I, I Aaron. See, so the thing is, Aaron is he needs he needs attention. I've got to, you know, he's like a little Tamagotchi. You got to you got to give him attention all the time. So feed me, change me. Yeah, look weird. Chat yet? Yeah, you don't want to know what goes on in the studio behind the camera. It's weird. It gets really weird. Tamagotchi Aaron. No, that's not his Facebook page. Just look for Aaron. A hyphen Ron. Just click like. And trust me, when you as soon as he sees a new like, he'll be all over you like a rat. Like. <laughs> Like a rash. In, in a good way though. Yeah, a good rash. <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> anyway, that's it for episode 35. I'll catch you next time. <laughs>